Brady Hoke did a walkthrough of the big house and found a big mess. The Wolverines were 15 and 22 in the three years before, losing three straight to Ohio State and losing sight of what made Michigan, Michigan. The program had reached a low point in its history, and the big house was almost a knockdown. Enter Hoke. Michigan touchdown, Denard Robinson. He bought, and he did more than just restore the pride in Michigan football. He did it overnight. From the squad that went 7-6 and six in 2010, emerged a new and improved team that capped the year with its first 11-win campaign in five, its first defeat of the Buckeyes in eight, and its first BCS ball in 12 years. And it was the kind of football that reminded the fans of Bo, Bo Schembeck. They were Michigan again, as if it was the 1970s again. Nothing too fancy, nothing too exotic. Their secret sauce was simple, time-tested, with an extra helping of the basics. It's one of the many reasons folks close to the program feel that 2011 was only the beginning of something bigger in Ann Arbor. And with it, the Maxwell Football Club's recognition. They extend their highest honor to the College Football Coach of the Year, Michigan's Brady Hoke.